Good morning, Internet. Daniel here. As you see, I finally got my choke adapter. Uh, so now I'm just loading up these mags so that I can test the FD12 with uh, the Salvo, which I have in the, I want to say it's the 8-inch configuration. Um, should run fine either full length or even down to the six inch and I'm shooting up the rest of the ammo that I shot the first time when I did the unsuppressed test and we're gonna see how it runs suppressed in this case I forget to mention this magazine is just one short I'm just trying to keep it consistent this is the federal El Chivo bulk box stuff 1200 feet per second ammo and I have some better oh yeah double A's this high I think it counts as high brass so story about these magazines which are super hard to come by but I did end up getting a bunch of them um, at auction but I'm not going to mention exactly where I got them from because the shipper was not very cooperative it was a mistake on my part i asked them for a favor and uh they were just like well you have to figure that out yourself so uh, it's something they could have very easily done just in the name of good customer service but since i had to do it I had to chase down the people at fedex to make corrections so i'd rather not give them the publicity but nonetheless these mags still are available even in uh, today's climate. I don't know if anybody's gonna join us today. I'm over here at Pine Tucky Gun Range in Blythe, Georgia. Blythe, I might be mispronouncing that. Uh, very early so that I could kind of do this uninterrupted. I have permission from the owner to kind of blast this uh, steel patterning target as much as I need to since there's nobody else here at the moment. Not sure if that's going to change or not so i'm trying to load these as fast as i can so we can get as much of this lead down range as possible and see if there's any real issues with this shotgun so if you recall from my first video there was uh well actually i'm sorry this is not the these are the aguilas i just put in their magazine here are the double a's winchesters i was uh mixing them together to kind of save space load all these bad boys up oh yeah so I was saying uh, there was one failure to feed with uh, actually a three inch turkey load one of these ones actually um, out of a brand new magazine that has not ever been loaded before so there's a possibility it was just a hey, it's just a plus you know so three inches they just barely fit inside these mags so it's a possibility just a hung up I don't blame the gun, I blame the mag on that one hang up. But so far we're at zero defect as far as cycling from the gun is concerned. Alright, that's full. And why don't we know? How about we just mix them up just for fun, right? Let's see what happens with that. I want to say that there's a magazine loader for this thing. There has to be. If not, I'm pretty sure I can make one. Okay. So we've done plenty of unsuppressed. Let's go ahead and do that. So this, again, is the Mossberg style choke. It is not the Benelli style. It is a completely different thread pattern. It's not even close. So I don't even bother trying it. Some of you guys have and then just, just twist locks right on there. So, this just needs to be snug. I didn't bring the wrench because I found myself not really needing it. So how does it feel with the Selva 12 on it? It has a, definitely a little bit more front end weight. I don't know if that's gonna help with the recoil or not. Uh, okay, I got my optic on, um, but it's not that bad. And this being a bullpup, this length is manageable. The VR80, uh, with the Salvo 12, especially in the 12-inch configuration, is really long. It is really long, 
and um, it is not something I'd want to go through the house with if you had to use a VRA in a self a VR80 in a self-defense scenario. Um, this I think is a little bit more practical, even though it's just technically a few inch shorter than uh, an unsuppressed VR80, but still I think it gives you gives you at least that much advantage. And uh, maybe for patrol use or something like that, this is definitely much more manageable because when you sling it from here. Um, it's going to be at at least a very manageable length uh, with a suppressor on it. So tactically, I think the bullpup suppressed um, is a far better than putting a, a very 12 inch long suppressor on a ready a long, a full length shotgun we'll call it. Uh, so yeah, it feels good. It does change the balance a little bit of the gun. And let's see if it does anything about that recoil that I experienced last time. So we're just going to take, uh, we're going to take this uh, mixed mag first round. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, it took it, no problems there. And let's see what happens. And this right here is an improved cylinder choke. That's actually a lot better. That recoil is completely different not bad I might actually just leave this suppressor on there just because of the recoil um, mitigation of properties I'm shooting birdshot so maybe when I shoot some of the heavier stuff like the three inches maybe it'll change my mind but let's find out but I, I do notice that it is more comfortable and the action seems to slow down a little bit too so we're going to do another comparison here in a minute uh, unsuppressed let's see so so far zero defects um this bolt catch is weird i don't know what's up with that the magazine is fully seated in there see now it wants to let go of it let's see what happens here all right so the bolt is Locked to the rear to the point where I can't bring it back anymore. Something happened. Let's find out what that is. Okay, we'll remove that. Did you grab it weird? This is also a brand new magazine too. Never been used. One of the ones I got. Let's see what happened with that. Okay, I guess it was just a weird the way it went in. Did it take a round? It did. Okay, so everything's good. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what happened there. And it does appear that my safety lever is starting to unscrew. So that is a weird star bolt. I think I have one of those in the car in my toolkit. But uh, for now, uh, we'll see if I can snug that up with any of these. Nope, too small. Now nah, this one might work. Let's do that. This one might work because I definitely don't want to lose that. All right, so that's turning. All right, so that needs Loctite. Note to self, we'll do that upon repatriation. All right, so here we go. So we send this off and a constant thread. Zero defect. Next mag. And see the bolt catch just automatically, it just, there it goes. It's weird. I don't know what it's at. It works. I would rather use a charging handle anyways, because that's the way I've always done it. But uh, just the fact that that doesn't work for me all the time is, let's see what that looks like when we start to break it apart. All right, open. Full mag, empty. No problems. And let's go ahead and fire this as fast as I can. Let's see how that, that rips. I had to get that one to work a little bit. These mags, maybe hit or miss. Okay, I'm gonna fire this as fast as it'll, it will cycle. Empty. So far, zero de defects with uh, Salvo 12. On the Black Aces Tactical FD12, it's got a bunch of different names, different manufacturers. 
And make sure that stays snug as it heats up. You know, thermodynamics is a thing. All right, so all I have to do is just snug that up a little bit. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, these five rounders don't tend to do that. Oh, see that right there, missed. So we'll have to investigate that, but that's been reliable, so. Okay, let's see what happens. Five quick rounds. Oh, that's my fault, flinched. Five quick rounds, very good. All right, so far, so good. All right, so it changed the angle a little bit. You guys can kind of see um, how I'm managing the recoil with it suppressed. That does. It is pretty toasty from those strands that I've done. Uh, everything else looks good. Let's go ahead and these are uh, some three inchers. And these are coming out at 1200 uh, feet per second, uh, three inch. All right, it kind of surprised me that it closed, tapping in, but it closed. All right, let's see. I'm gonna reposition you. All right, that looks good. Not bad. Man, I am really leaning into that. Here we go. Okay, we have a failure to feed. I was just stripping it off the mag. Seemed like it was slowing down a little bit. Was that one attributed to the magazine? I don't know. I don't know. That's good. Now I'm going to pull off the suppressor and see if I can do just a comparison to that uh, with the recoil suppressed and unsuppressed. A little bit hot. It did bring the tool. It does tighten up. There we go. I guess that's really all the thing you need the tool for is when it's hot. All right. There we go. Make sure the choke is snug, right? We want to make sure that's good. Okay. No issues with that. All right, unsuppressed. These are just the Federals, cheapos. I wonder if it's getting dirty, because I have to see what happens. Oh, that weight just came right off of there. Different. Maybe it's not as strong as I remember it. Or these are just different loads. No issues there. All right, so I'm gonna take a pause, reload some mags, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna blow through another, Let's do this mix bag. Yeah, we're gonna do this mix bag right here. See what happens. Unsuppressed. Um, I don't know. This is this this time is it's not it's not hitting nearly as hard as I remember it the first time. I don't know if it's because I got a sweatshirt on this time. Last time I just had a t-shirt. I'm not sure. Um, with a brand new gun, maybe. 
perceive? I don't know. But, oh, see? I'm not even going to use it anymore because that has not worked for me only a handful of times. And then I do have to tighten down this safety because it feels like it's going to fall right out. So this is going to be the first thing you get some blue Loctite is the safety. And I recommend it, you guys, just based on my experience with this, just go ahead and Loctite it right out of the box. When you guys get one of your a brand new FD12, uh, this might be something you want to do because God forbid you lose that screw. Uh, it is a proprietary Torx type. I don't know if it's got a weird thread padding, you know, coming from Turkey. Okay, metric, but you know, sometimes they use proprietary designs for things like this. I don't know, so I would just go ahead and remove it. Um, if it is a metric Torx, then yeah, you could probably find a replacement on your own. Um, but I mean, are you gonna want to pay five bucks, to, you know, to get a whole bag of them? Or, right um, so just yeah blue lock tied it then that's what you know it's not gonna come out yeah you know, simply put right um, let's go ahead see what happens did in fact take it I like that you can use a charging handle as a forward assist is when you know it's home and let's go ahead and fire this mixed bag all right no issues and let's do the last suppressed I think the cycling was slowing down after I had fired a couple uh, rounds suppressed, maybe because it was getting dirty inside. Um, it seems to be speeding up a little bit, but let me see, I'm going to put the suppressor back on and we'll see if that was just my, uh, my mind. All right, these are my raw, unfiltered, unedited thoughts as I'm firing this thing, guys. So, you know, maybe I might be wrong at the time. It's okay. I look forward to hearing you guys' input as well. All right, so again, I just put this thing on hand tight, a little bit the best that I can, and it's not really an issue. All right, let's pull these out. Let me know what you guys think. It doesn't slow down when it's suppressed. all of them and last two three inches all right that's it thanks for watching guys i'm pretty happy